Forbes' opinion, Thailand has been more just a place to work. It has become a second home. At 33 years old, she has spent nearly half her life in the bustling street of Bangkok, far from her native Krati province in Cambodia. ກຳມົນນັ້ນແມ່ນມັດແພ້ມັນແພ້ຈົ່ງມາມົນມັນແພ້ທັ້ງຈົ່ງມາຖືກາໃຕ້ໃນຂ້າຍ that decisions have resulted in 15 years of hard work and adaptation. She first arrived in Thailand in 2009, finding her way to a drinking water production plant. After that, she worked in a noodle restaurant, then in a hotel, and eventually as a street store vendor. Today, Sao Pien has a star position in a small coffee shop on Vipavadi Rancid Road serving drink and food to the students and office workers before dawn. Her working day starts at 4 in the morning and doesn't end until 1.30 in the afternoon, five days a week. Although the coffee shop is closed on the weekends, Sao Pien makes the most of her time by taking an additional household chores like washing dishes to supplement her income. Thailand and Cambodia share an accessible border, making Thailand a popular destination for Cambodians seeking for a better opportunity. With its stronger economy, higher income, and a diverse job market, Thailand offers many Cambodians for a better life. Sao Pien has been here for many years, but she hasn't explored many places. She's always worked to save money. That's her main focus. For over a decade, Sao Pien's employer Chon Thi Cha Song Thai has been running her coffee stall, serving her early morning customers. This is her first time hiring Cambodian staff. Previously, all her employees were Thai. Although the wages are the same, she found the working with the new teams has brought her an unexpected level of ease. ต้องบอกต้องสอนนี่บางทีแบบน้องเค้าเป็นงานแล้วเราไม่ต้องสอนเลยถ้าอันไหนที่เราไม่ถูกอันไหนน้องเค้าไม่ถูกเราถึงจ